Shalom Israel. It's the brother Kadargabar here again. And I'd like to start off by giving all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in heaven. Yahweh, in his only begotten son name. Yahweh Shah. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukakadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. We in those latter days, man. You know? We commanded to come out here and preach the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're gonna jump right into it. And us brothers that's in the truth and sincerity, hey, we have to continue to do this work and we have to endure the, 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 uh, the uh, hard things that's coming, the bad times that's coming, we have to endure, you know? We gonna be in Jacob's trouble, but we know Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is gonna be with us. He's gonna direct our steps, he's gonna guide us, he's gonna help us, he's going to be with us. But let's get Matthews, chapter 24, verse 13. And it reads, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we, we have to endure unto the end. You know, those that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Saved from this destruction that's come up on this earth. Saved from the nuclear missiles that's going to take this place, Babylon the Great, aka America, out. And the sinners that that's they're in, you know, we want to be saved from the uh, nuclear missile before it hit this place. We want to be beat up into the chariots when Yahweh shine the holy angels return when they come when they come here up on this earth. You know, we want to be a part of the elect number of the nation of Israel. We want to be saved. So to be saved, we have to endure into the end. Verse fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. We're preaching this word to all the nations. Why? Because the, the, uh, it's Israelites scattered out. Us Israelites are scattered amongst all the nations, man. We scatter amongst all the nations. You know? And amongst some other nations, you all had to elect. So we have to preach this word to all the nations, man. No matter what they look like, man. Israelites, we gonna have some of the elect gonna look like the other nations, man. We have to preach, preach this word, this gospel into all nations, man. Because the, uh, the nation of Israel is scattered amongst all the nations. So we do, we preach this word, you know? Preach this word, and once they elect hear it, you know, they gonna repent, they gonna turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you know? They gonna be sealed. And once they sealed, hey man, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is gonna tear this place down, man. He's gonna tear this wicked ass place down, you know? Then the end should come. Now, he that should endure it to the end, the same should be saved, you know? Because, hey, if we don't have this truth, we don't have this word, we don't have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, because the scripture tell you in Isaiah 33 verse six, that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability at that time, we don't have this word, hey, we're not gonna be able to, to uh, endure it to the end. We're not gonna make it, man. 
So we need this word. You need to seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, man. So we can seek y'all with Bashim Yahushai. Hey, before it's too late. Because if you don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahushai on your side, you're not going to make it, man. So let's go, uh, 2 Timothy. Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. And I'm gonna kinda, you know, go through these scriptures, you know, kinda quick, cause you know, I came out here kinda late, you know. So I wanna try to, you know, get through it before we get too dark. So the second Timothy chapter two, verse three, and it reads, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, we are soldiers of Yahweh Shah, right? Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 and it reads Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. We have to endure these bad times is coming, man. You know, we go through things now. We have to endure it, man. We have to hey, we have to go through it. You know, scripture talks about us being tried. As gold is tried, man. We're gonna be tried. You have to know that that you're gonna be tried. So hey, when these times when times get rough. You know, don't fold, man. Don't fold under pressure, man. You know, remain faithful and keep keep enduring, man. Endure to the end so you can be saved. He that endured to the end, he that endured to the end, the same should be saved, man. So you have to endure hardness, man. Temptation, man. These tribulations that's coming. You know, don't worry about the things that's coming, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua got you. You have to believe that. You have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Verse 3 again, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. A soldier go through things, man. A, so a soldier go through the toughest battles. You know, we have to go through the toughest battles, man. In, in the toughest time, the roughest time, the baddest time, that great tribulation, Jacob's trouble is coming. So if you're in this truth, man, don't, hey, continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Don't fold under pressure. We know it's gonna get bad. We that's why we prepare. That's why we got the word. The word is preparing us for those times that's coming, so we can be numb to the times that's coming. Times is got to get real bad out here. And Jake ain't gonna know what to do because they ain't got this word. They won't pass this word. They ignore this word. This right here is not important to them. So when all hell break loose, hey, they gonna get caught up in it. And that's down there, man. But you that believe, hey, stick to the scriptures, man. Continue to believe, continue to trust, continue to keep the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Continue to be that good soldier, man. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. And it reads. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. You know, we're going to, hey, we know we're going to be going through things, man. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, man. If we get snatched up, get put in concentration camps, hey, you saw threaten our lives if we don't receive the mark, which is the MOTB, which is the RFID microchip, whatever, man. Hey, we willing to die for this, man. You have to be willing to die for this. But the scriptures say make your but your bodies a living sacrifice. Even when we come out here, we're making our bodies a living sacrifice. Anything can happen, man. You know, we doing this for Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. We willing to die for this truth, man. Period point blank. Revelation 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried. You're gonna be tried. So if you get cast away in these concentration camps. You know, these FEMA camps or whatever, man. Hey, don't fold under pressure, man. Don't matter if it take two days, uh, a month, you know, a year, three years, five years, however long it takes. It doesn't matter, man. Remain faithful, you know. You're, gonna, you're being tried. Always keep it in your mind. I'm being tried. So if I turn my back on you, if I turn my back on you, how about you, I was shy, and, 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 and bow down to Esau, hey, you better know that you're going to be destroyed, man. Don't turn your back on the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. 
You have to be willing to lay your life down for this truth, man. You have to. If you don't have that mentality that, I, hey, I die for this truth, hey, you're not gonna make it. You have to build yourself up in the spirit that, hey, man, I'm not worry about what Esau could do to you in the flesh, man. Fear him that can destroy both flesh and soul. You know? In hell, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Fear him that can destroy both, man. Soul and body, right? Don't fear what Esau can do, man. He can't do nothing but destroy the flesh. And this is sinful flesh anyways. We want them new, them new bodies anyways, man. So you have to have the mentality that you're willing to die for this word, man. If it comes down to it. Esau talking about putting you under the guillotine. You talking about, okay, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Esau. Just give it to me. Give me the chip. Give me the mark. Fuck that, man. Hey, do what you got to do, dude. You, hey, you want to chop my head off? Go ahead. It's, it's going to be quick. Hey, Yahweh Bashim no shot. Could do anything, man. He can have you to where you don't feel the, uh, the pain. You know, he could remove your spirit from your body before the guillotine even hits you, man. So, hey, man, you got to have that type of mentality, man. You got to trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim no shot. You know, yeah, the flesh might, uh, whatever, but hey, man, you got to tap into that spirit, man. You know, we spiritual men, man. You know. Verse 10, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, shall carry some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death. What we just talking about. Hey, willing, willing to die for the truth if it come down to it. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown. I will give thee a crown of life. That's what we want. We want that crown, man. You know, we want that reward of a good soldier, a good servant, man. We want that reward, man. We want that crown of life, man. We don't want to be left here in, in America and get uh, destroyed by the nuclear missiles because we turned our back in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and, and, and received that mark, that chip, the MOTB. Hell no. Remain faithful even unto death. We have to have that mentality, man. You know, Jake out here wicked as hell, man. You know, they Jake out here, they, they willing to die for money. You know, they risk their life for some, some fake ass money, man. The paper dollar bills. This shit fake, man. That paper dollar bill don't hold no weight, man. But us, hey, this right here, this this word holds. This, this word right here holds weight, man. And we willing to die for this truth, man. This is the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, our Father in heaven. You know? Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. So, you know, we preach this word at the scripture saying Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Preach this word into all the nations, right? Why? Because the Israelites are scattered amongst all the nations. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua scattered them. It was, it was a curse that came upon our people because we went off. We, we started sinning against Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. So he sent us among, he scattered us amongst all these nations, man. And he, all these other nations is over us, man. We're at the bottom, man. And our people satisfied being at the bottom. Hell no, we trying to get up out of here. We look for a new heavens and a new earth where the well of righteousness, man. So this is Revelation chapter 5. Verse 9 in the reads, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou hast selected, for thou was slain, and has redeemed us, selected, have redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. You know? So, all our people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Spanish and Native Americans, the Israelites are scattered amongst all nations, man. So we have to preach this word. No matter what they look like, man. It can, hey, an Israelite can look like a damn Edomite, African, you know, a Chinese, a Japanese. You know, we have to preach, which we don't know, man, you know. You can't tell what they are just by looking at their flesh, man. The 
Yeah, I was shy. Yeah, I was shy. Our Savior opened the book for us, man. To be, able to, to be able to receive this wisdom and knowledge and understand of the scriptures, man. You know? So we real, we real thankful to be to be called into this ministry to, to do the work so y'all will buy some y'all shot. You know? So let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 64. And it reads. And the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushah, shall scatter thee among all the people. This is why we have to preach this word. That's why we have to preach it among all the nations, man. Because Israel is scattered amongst all the nations. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all the nations. Salaki. Start over. Verse, uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all the people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which our people do. They serve this Jesus, this Buddha, this Allah. They serve other gods, man. Gods that can't help them, save them, or deliver them. There's only one true living power, man. And that's Yahweh. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. You know, you know Jake loved that damn cross. Jake loved going over there in the Mecca, uh, walking around that damn rock. Jake want to be a Muslim. Jake want to be everything else but an Israelite, what the Yahweh Bashim Yahushua called him to be, man. You know? I'm not no Israelite, I'm black. You know how you black, man? That's the color of my hair, man. Dark as hell, man. That's the color of my hair, man. You ain't black, man. You a Israelite, man. One of the twins. So Yahweh Bashim Yahushai scattered us amongst all the nations, man. This is why you can't, you know, see a, you, if you see an Edomite, you, you be quick to. You damn devil, this and that, hey man. How you know you're a devil, man? You ain't ready, you that you try to spirit by the uh uh by the spirit, man. By reading this word, man, hey. We know them by their spirit, man. It's like over there in in, in China or or, or or Korea, you got you got Chinese and Chinese looking, Korean looking people over there dancing like like hell, man. Like they Jake, and I believe it's, it's a lot of them over there is Jake. You know, the, hey, they got the moves, man, like Jake, man. But they look like the other nations, right? So this is why we preach the word amongst all the nations, man. Our people are scattered amongst all the nations, man. You know? So that was a curse, man. That was about Shemel Shah sent us among all these nations. Why? Because we went off, man. We went off. Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. So we have to preach amongst all these nations, man. Let's go to uh, James. And I hate that I came out here late, you know. But it is what it is, man. Going to the Lord. I was really trying to uh, figure out how to work the live stream on the uh, stream yard. You know, I, I got it downloaded, but, and it's telling me I can't use my camera on my mic. You know, I don't know what's going on. I went on YouTube, looked at videos to do things in the settings and all that, and it still ain't working. But it worked on my laptop. But if any brother, you know, know how to, you know, any brother not to work it, how to get to work, that can, uh, 
so you can uh let me know so you can help me uh be able to do the live stream and i appreciate it man you know but this is james chapter one verse one so baba kasha baba kasha you know if any brother know how to you know get it to work or something that i need to do to get it, know what I need to do to get it to work, to go live. Bubba Kishaw, please uh, leave a comment, you know, down below and, and to let me know. Because I want to be able to go live. You know. James 1, chapter 1. James 1, verse 1, and it reads, James, a servant of Yahweh and of the Lord. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. So the 12 tribes of Israel is scattered abroad. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among all nations. What we'll Matthew 24, verse 14 say? Preach this word among, amongst all the nations, right? Then the end should come. By us preaching this word, this word, the spirit of the word is gathering Israel to return back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Let's go to Baruch, chapter 4. Start at verse, verse 36. Baruch chapter four, verse 36, and it reads, O Jerusalem, and we know Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Look about thee toward the east, and behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from Yahweh. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sendest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh. So this word is gathering Israel back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. It's not of us. It's the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah gathering Israel back. Causing Israel to return up back unto him. We didn't come uh, uh, to the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua called us out of this wicked ass place, man. You know, the Spirit got gathered us, man. The word is gathering, man. Gathering Israel to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Go over a chapter, verse 5. Chapter 5, verse 5, and it reads, Arise, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. The 12 tribes of Israel. And stand on high and look toward the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, so hey, this word is gathering, man. And it's beautiful to see, man. It's beautiful to see the so-called Negro, Latino, Hispanic, and Native American brothers come together, preaching this word together, man. It's beautiful, man. You can't say it ain't. And the Spirit is doing that. Spirit is doing it. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is bringing us back. You know, he had brought us down, man, because we went off. You know, but now he's bringing us, he bringing us back, he building us back up. Whether you know it or not, we in the transition, you know, of of, of kingdoms, man. 
The kingdom is translated from one people to another, man. And, and, and Esau is coming out of the rulership, and we coming in rulership. The kingdom is being translated from Esau to Jacob. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning that follow it. So Yahweh Bashem Yahushat is bringing us back up, man. He's building us back up. He brought us down. He's building us back up. And the word is gathering us. The spirit of the word is gathering us back to Yahweh Bashem Yahushat. So the... Uh, First Peter. First Peter chapter one, verse one. And it reads, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to the strangers scattered through Pontus. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bot, Bithino, Salakib, Bithinaya, Bithin, Bithania, Salaki, if I'm not pronouncing it right. Let me read it again. First Peter, chapter one, verse one. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to the strangers scattered throughout Pontos, Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Bithynia. Or Benthaniah. Elect according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh. Well, no, we gotta read verse two. But the point of verse one is the strangers are, are, are the Israelites scattered throughout all these nations, man. You know? When Yahweh Bashmab Shah put us away, we became strangers. You know, we became enemy, enemies of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. It tells you that in Jeremiah chapter 30, on the, uh, around the 12th, 13th chapter, uh, 13th verse, that he wound us with the wound of an enemy. You know, because we went off, man. So he scattered us among all these other nations, and we serve in our punishment among these other nations, man. But I'm for sure going to, uh, after this uh, video, I'm going to uh, go get uh, my pronunciation right for these words. So let's keep moving. Let's go to Isaiah. And even though, you know, I'm not a good speaker, you know. Hey, I'm still gonna do the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Things we messed up on, we just go back and we, we get it right, you know. We correct ourselves, man. So this is uh, Isaiah. I wanted to get too dark. Screen. Here we good. Chapter 43. Verse. Let's start at verse one. Isaiah 43 verse one and it reads, but now thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. 
12 tribes of Israel, right? Southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. We belong to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh right? Verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they should not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. You know, when these troubles, when this great tribulation, Jacob's trouble take place. Hey, this is what it's talking about. All the, all the tribulation that's going to be coming, man. We're going to be protected. We're going to be good. You know? And even the, liberal, the, uh, the literal uh, f uh, flame of fire for the nuclear missiles. They're not going to touch us, Mexico. We're going to be delivered. The Howard Willow will be a part of that elect number. You know? The scripture will tell you that uh, in, 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 in the seven trouble, uh, it sh should not touch thee. You know, the seven trouble is when the nuclear missiles get let off, man. They're not going to touch us, man. We're going to get beamed up into the chariots. Y'all will be a, uh, we are part of that elect number. Let's keep reading. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba and Seba for thee. Verse 4. This thou was precious in my sight. Thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather them from the west. Why he's going to bring them from the east and and gather them for the west because Israel is scattered among all the nations. We are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. You know? Verse 6. And I will say unto the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. You know, so even you know the man, the elect men and elect women of the nation of Israel are going to be gathered, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to gather them to deliver them. You know, we don't we don't need to you know be worried about the things that's coming, man. This 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 word is preparing us for the times that's coming. These people of this world. People that don't have the truth, the word, the wisdom and knowledge, the understanding of the scriptures, you know, they're gonna be asked out. They gonna they need to be worried. They're gonna be scared as hell when all hell break loose. We're gonna understand why all these things is happening. Because it's written in the book, the holy book, the holy bible. The scriptures tell you that Yahweh Bashem is gonna be with us. So why be worried? Let's go to Hosea. Hosea chapter one. Start at verse. 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And that shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know? Where we, especially uh, where we are scattered, where the Israelites are scattered. You know, th these other nations tell us that we're not the uh, children of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, especially here in America. It was a time they were saying, we ain't the, the people of the Lord, man. 
you know, especially in the time of slavery, man, and, 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 and hardcore bondage. When we was in, a, we was working in the fields and shit, man. We was told that God hate us. We was told that he, we weren't, his, we wasn't his people. But now it's being said, and Edomites are admitting it everywhere, man, all throughout the internet, that we are the chosen, that we are the people of Yahweh Bashi was shot. That we are the Israelites. It's being said in the land of our captivity. You know, we scattered everywhere, man. Well, every Israelite is not gonna be a dark-skinned brother, man. We different shades of brown. A lot of Israelites gonna look like the other nations. You can't receive that. The spirit is not on you, man. All that, tw all the twelve tribes is black crap. No, they ain't, man. Let's go to Tobit. Tobit chapter 13, verse 3. And it reads, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. For he has scattered us, for he has scattered us among them. Yahweh Bashim Abishai scattered us among these heathens among these Gentiles, among the other nations. 